Hello guys, in this video we're gonna talk about for loop, while loop and the range. At first, let's see how for loop is working. I will use some example in this video and explain from the example. First of all, this is a for loop and in example one, you guys can see that in the first line, I declare a list. So the name of the list is I declare as a name as sequence, but you can use any name. So, and then other line I used as a uh, for, uh, for loop. So for then uh, name of the variable is item for item then in and then sequence. So here we have to remember that there are two, uh, three, three important part in this here. Uh, and the word in right hand side is a condition. I mean the condition or range where you, you define the for loop up to go. And then in the left hand side of in should be the name of the variable. So in this case, I uh, say the name of the variable is item. So let's run the first line. So to run a cell, I can click the run. Then that means this cell will be run. So the name of the uh, say name of the list is sequence, and the inside of the uh, inside of that list we have five numbers. Once now, if we run this line, which means that we use a for loop and we use the name of the variable as item and then we use the condition as sequence. So, which means that using this for loop, I want to say that you get this sequence and go from one to five. So once if we print item, which means in the variable, it will go from one to five. So let's run this cell. So that means it's gonna give me the output from one to five. So we use for loop just for repeating some kind of uh, task or some kind of activity and we have to remember how the structure is working for the for loop at first you have to write down for after the name of the variable and then in should be a word in and then should be the sequence should be the range or should be the limit where you are to for the for loop in the second example this is another way of declaring of the for loop Say you declare a for loop and you name, name as a variable that is well, and then you want to say the range is five, which means that you want the for loop to execute something of five times. Since in the uh, Python the uh, indexing is working from zero, so in this case it will print your name from uh, it, it will print your name five times. Say if you run this code, control enter, say. It, it will run this line five times. Five times because uh, you declared that run these things for range five. That means from zero to five, uh, zero to four. Another example in here, we declare a list and we name it as a digits. So inside that digits, we put some numbers and we want to call that, uh, call that digits. So uh, the structure of for loop is there should be in word and then left hand side gonna be the variable name and the right hand side is up to where you want to go. So in this case, I want to go until this list, which means that for item in digits, this is how we call the for loop. And then if you want to print the item, it definitely go to that digits and print all of them one after another. So if you run the code, you'll see the output inside that list and it prints all these three number. So just as an example, let's add one more number say add 90 and if you want to run them around this sequence of code it's gonna it's gonna add one more number for you see in here it's gonna it added 90 again another example in here another way of calling the for loop is you can define the range range mean from starting to ending but in here we just define some number sequence of number but we can define the range as well so range mean starting number to ending number. One thing we have to remember must that once if we go to the uh, for loop and call it in uh, further in somewhere, if you say in this case, if you want to print value, it will start from 20 and it will go. Uh, it will not hit 25, but it will go the just before the 25. That means it's gonna be, it gonna run until 24. So that is one things we have to remember when we use the for loop see in here so if it goes to any sequence it will start from the say this number but it will not touch the last number 
but it will it will finish just immediate before another thing is in here you can define the range is from 0 to 5 or from 0 to 15 and you want to increment by 3 so in this line if you want to save if you want to print value it will start from 0 and it will finish towards 15 but it didn't touch 15 it will finish before 15 but it will increment by 3 so logically it gonna go by 0 3 6 9 12 but it not gonna go until 12 until 15 because it not gonna touch the last line so this is one of the things to remember uh, when we consider the for loop okay so uh, we can go from top number to bottom number like say we define a, a loop for and then a variable and then we say range from 100 till 0 that means go down so we can go down by 10 and each case it's gonna print a value like 100 and the 90 and then it gonna go towards 0 but it not touch the 0 it will finish immediate before the 0 because it, that, that's what the for loop is designed to work for in uh, Python in this situation in example 7 you can see there is another an, another list of something some fruits and if you call that list in inside from the for loop so for any variable as I said in and then and that things that I mean that list or that sequence or that range or whatever so left hand side of in is gonna be the name of the variable and right hand side of the in gonna be the range or factor or the limit or where you up to that, that that's how we, that design the for loop so in this case if you print the val it definitely print each item in here one after another so if you run this code it gonna go like this one okay so in here there is an another example of for loop so using for loop we can add any number from 0 to 4 how to do that say in the first line we declare a variable we know that well, we can declare a variable like this way from the previous session so in this case i gonna go the I, I can see that we have to add from 0 to 4 so we declare a variable name uh, left hand side of the in is the name of the variable and right hand side of the name is the range because it is 0 to 4 so we have to define 5 that's why and then we say that i is equal to i plus val that means each time val each time variable gonna get a value from 0 to 4 because it's not gonna touch 5 because it is the last number so and then add with i previous i but initial i gonna be the 0 so the from this program we're gonna get the output of addition from up 0 to 4 so let's run this program and then it can see that uh, the output is 10 which is uh, sh should be the 10 similarly in the example 9 we have to add from 1 till 10 so similar way we can do that that uh, we define a variable and then in that variable we uh, put initial value 0 and then since we have to add from 1 till 10 we have to uh, add one more i mean we have to define the range as 11 so that it will finish until 10 and then once if you run this line of code uh, you will see that the output is 55 which is actually the addition from uh, 1 till 0 1 till 1 till 10 so in this situation we're gonna describe the range range is a things interesting things which we're gonna use in uh, for loop of python so in this case we can define the range as a, a name of range and then we have to define from starting to finishing and then we have to put these things into a variable uh, called any any name and then we can call these things into a for loop so suppose we're gonna call a for loop and the name of the variable is like number and then we say in and then say x and x man the range of 3 to 6 so if you in this situation run this number this code it gonna gives from 3 to 6 that means 3 4 5 but it not gonna hit the last one because we know that in this in the case of range it on, only gonna finish until the immediate before of the last number that's why it finish at 5 
similarly, in this example, we are gonna say that range is from three, three to 20, but it's gonna increment by two. So if uh, there is a three number in a, inside the range string, then we remember we have to think that starting point is three and the finishing point is 20, and then the increment is by increment is two. So you once after using the for loop, if we call that x, it's gonna print from three till 20, increment by two, but it's not gonna hit 20, but it will finish immediately before the 20, because that's the rule, see? In this case, it's gonna start from three, then gonna uh, two up, three mean five, then seven, nine, 11, something like that. After 19, it's not gonna go up because otherwise, otherwise it's gonna <coughs> violate the rules. And then the uh, uh, last thing we're gonna learn today is the while loop. While loop is just a, uh, checking a uh, checking a condition. Once that condition is true, then it's gonna work. It. Otherwise, it's not gonna working or not gonna go inside the while loop. Say so in this situation, we're gonna say that there is a variable and we put zero inside of that variable. And we say while i less than five at the initial stage, i gonna be the zero. The zero can be less than five. That means it's gonna print uh, first statement. It's gonna print zero. And then it's gonna go uh, go one two three four uh, four and then once it's gonna go the four after then four once it, after next line if it's gonna go the five not gonna be satisfied so it's not gonna be the true and go inside that means while loop gonna be working once the condition is true which means that in that situation you're gonna print these things similarly in this example uh, we're gonna say that i inside the i variable the value is 10 while and i said that while i less than 21 it is 20 uh, while i less than 21 print i that means at first it's gonna print 10 and then 11 and 12 13 14 15 it will print until 20 but it will not print 21 because otherwise it violate the rule so if you print this line it will gonna print until 20 but in there i say let's try something else if you're gonna say less than or equal to it will print uh 21 as well because it we said that less than or equal to so we understand we have to remember that once if you try see or check any uh, condition inside the while loop it's gonna go work until it is true in this example we said that the temperature of some places is 115 and say while temperature uh, is less than one to i mean 100 i mean 120 then do something and then inside the while loop we said the variable we increase the variable by one so at first it's gonna print the temperature and then finally once it's gonna go uh, it, it will work until one one nine otherwise and once it gets one one two zero it's not gonna go works and then it's gonna go outside and print this line so let's run this code and we can see that starting from one one five every time it go inside but once the uh, temperature is became one to zero it not gonna go inside and then it's gonna go outside and gonna go print that print this statement so this print statement is outside of the while loop because in this case you have, we have to remember that every time once if we write a block of code inside and where is the inside and where is the outside so in this case this print is outside of the while loop because once while start from this uh, column the inside all other block is a little bit of right in this column so if you print or uh, write down print in this column that means that block of code is outside of this block of code similarly we have to remember uh, in the for loop say something like this one so say say uh, so this uh, until this line or if you uh, write down something else in here it's going to be also inside the uh, for loop but say if you write down something in here in this line in here it's not gonna be inside the for loop let's see pri entry print something so if you print something in here it's not gonna be the inside of the for loop and it's not gonna be considered as the for loop so what will happen is if you print this block of code then it's gonna finish this for job and then gonna go outside of this and then print uh, print the outside string this is how see the, so at first it will do its this job and then this print statement is outside of the for loop and then that's why it print in here something like that okay so this is the session today i will upload this python this uh, notebook file into my github and then you guys can upload it 
I mean download it and then practice. Those who didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe so that I can come back in future with this kind of video more and more. Until then, goodbye.